Three girls skate home from school, past blocks of houses destroyed by Allied air raids, Essen, Germany. Notice that they are each wearing only one skate. February 14, 1949. Arnold Schwarzenegger and then President George Bush go for a sled ride. 1991, according to his biography Total Recall, Arnold Schwarzenegger and President Bush were on the sled when they lost control and went straight into Barbara Bush, breaking her leg in the process. That's apparently why the card says, turn, damn it, turn. Selfie circa 1920s. It was taken at Marceau's studio, 5th Avenue across from St. Patrick's Cathedral in NYC. You can see St. Patrick's Cathedral in the background. Wormwood Street in the city of London after the IRA detonated a truck bomb on April 24, 1993. An Iveco tipper truck was stolen in Newcastle Underline, Staffordshire, and repainted from white to dark blue. Dr. John Bayard Britton with the .357 Magnum he carried for protection when visiting the Pensacola Ladies Center to perform abortions. He was murdered the following year after this photo was taken by anti-abortion extremist Paul Jennings Hill. 1993. A pickup truck flees from the pyroclastic flow spewing from the Emtid Pinatubo volcano in the Philippines on June 17, 1991. Pinatubo's eruption of 1991 produced the second largest terrestrial eruption of the 20th century after the 1912 eruption of Novarupta in the Alaska Peninsula. Four horsemen riding through the streets of Amsterdam on a motorless day when cars were prohibited due to the oil crisis in the Middle East. Sunday driving was banned in many parts of Europe during the crisis. November 4, 1973 President George H. R. Bush throws the first pitch at the Texas Rangers opening night in Arlington, Texas. Texas is playing the Milwaukee Brewers. April 8, 1991 he banned its publication as he considered it beneath one's dignity. It is said that he hated this dress himself. He only wore it because it was a popular dress in Bavaria and the NSDAP was not nearly as popular in Bavaria as in other parts of the country. An incredibly rare, candid and original color photograph of a B-17 bombardier heading toward Germany. 1940s, the survival rate for bombers throughout the first three years of the war was anywhere from 50% to as low as 20%. Three friends take a joyride on their new vehicle, Ohio. 1924. Russian prisoners of war lifting up an American soldier after the U.S. Ninth Army liberated them from their camp at Esselhide, Germany. April 9, 1945. The first plastic surgery in the world, Kent, 1917. Harold Gillies was an amazing man. He recognized that prior skin grafts were temporary due to a lack of blood supply to the tissue. Gillies found a way to overcome this. Walter Yeo got the first skin flap graft in 1917, using a method Gillies called the pedicle. Hitler asking a frostbitten and snow-ravaged soldier not to salute him, but to instead rest and recover. 194, year unknown. Moody Jacobs shows a giant bruise on the side and hip of his patient, and Hodges, after she was struck by a meteorite. She is the only confirmed person in history to have been hit by a meteorite. 1954. A German orphan tries to sell his father's iron cross in exchange for cigarettes. December 1, 1945. Cigarettes were used as a black market currency in post-war Germany. So the orphan was in all likelihood not trying to buy cigarettes because he was a smoker, but because the cigarettes were currency which could be used to buy food. U.S. Army veteran Sean Timothy Nelson drives AM-60A3 patent tank on a slow-paced police chase through San Diego, California. May 17, 1995, Arnold Schwarzenegger's first bodybuilding competition at the age of 16. 1963. Little girl and her horn lizard at a pet show, Venice Beach, California. 1936. 
Marilyn Monroe and Queen Elizabeth, both 30 at the time, meet at a movie premiere in London. October 1956. Marilyn Monroe and Queen Elizabeth were both born in 1926. Princess Diana meets comedian Rowan Atkinson while greeting the cast of The Royal Variety Show in 1984. A foot guard passes out as Queen Elizabeth II rides past during the Trooping the Color Parade in June, 1970, London. Duck Winters and Easy Company, Band of Brothers, at the Eagle's Nest, Hitler's residence. Winters is in the first row, third from right. Louis Nixon is to his left. A Soviet soldier with the head of a statue of Hitler in Berlin. 1945, it's the Russian poet Yevgeny Dolmatovsky as photographed by Yevgeny Aninovich Kaldiai. He was a major at that time. He also escaped a German POW camp. A disabled First World War veteran begging on the streets of Berlin, 1923. To contextualize things a bit, it's important to at least note that during this time Germany's economy was in the pit of hell.